why you need to stop judging yourself. Let me start with the opposite direction. Hi, I'm Vasya. I'm a psychologist, perfectionism expert. So the most common answer that I hear why we need perfectionism and why we need judging, to be more specific, why I need to judge myself, is because we think that we become better when we judge ourselves. There is something valid in there. Yes, indeed, when we point out our mistakes and when we realize what it did wrong, yes, indeed, we can improve it and we can change it. Yes, there is something valid. However, remember, during your school years, you learn the most when your teacher would say to you what you have done correctly, when your teacher would say to you, I'm proud of you, and then she would give you motivation to study more or to improve more. And imagine, or I don't know if you had any teacher like that, who would scold you or reprimand you or belittle you all the time. Remember that back then you actually had less motivation to actually study for this class because of this teacher. So it's the same thing with our brain. When we say to ourselves things like, be careful, you made a mistake, oh, here we go again, uh, or you don't know anything, or you're never going to be smart. When we say things like that, we feel less motivated in order to try. But when we are actually not uh, being so harsh with ourselves and we're more encouraging and more positive, we have more willingness to work more. A second thing that I hear, a second reason is I want to judge myself because I want to make sure that I will not forget, forget my past mistakes. I hear you. You have a point. Yes, indeed. It's important to not forget the past mistakes because we're going to do them again. However, let me give you an example. You're taking driving lessons and you make a mistake. And of course, it's, it's normal because it's the beginning of your driving lessons and your driving experience. But also, imagine when you have been already driving for two years and you're still having somebody next to you saying, remember the mistake you did two years ago? Remember how incredibly you failed in signaling that you're turning left or to park the car? Remember, remember, remember? So it's already two years and you're doing things better than when you started, but still you remember past mistakes. It sounds absurd, and it sounds like, yeah, who would do something like that? But actually, we are doing that when we keep beating ourselves up for past mistakes. That's why we don't need this constant reminder. Okay, I heard it once. Okay, thank you. I know now. The third reason that I usually hear why we need to keep judging ourselves and actually being very harsh with ourselves is that so that we don't become lazy. Our inner critic is what keeps us on our toes and we keep trying and we keep progressing otherwise we would just become lousy messy lazy people who don't do anything who have no will to live no motivation no fulfilling goal in their lives so what i want to point out here is that we are going from one extreme to the other either you're judging yourself very harsh so that you can improve or you will just quit altogether. There's something in the middle, right? You don't need to go from one extreme to the other. There's something in the middle. Yes, indeed, I want to grow, of course. But while growing, it's okay if I rest. It's okay. I can grow, but in a different way. It doesn't mean that if I change my way, I will go to the other extreme where I'm, I'm not growing at all. I'm actually going backwards. That was the third point. And the fourth point is that people believe that if I judge myself all the time, I will be better prepared for any future worst case scenarios. Okay, again, there's something valid in there. I hear you, how you want to be prepared. I'm, I'm also in favor of being prepared, of course. I don't want to be surprised by life. However, there's something unrealistic in there, which is, no matter how much we will be prepared, life will always surprise us. Life will always bring conditions and situations in front of us and challenges that we could never imagine and we could never be prepared. So what I want to say here, let's differentiate the, the need to be prepared with the need to be controlling. 
the situation in our life. We can never be able to control life, but we can be prepared to a, to a logical degree. So what we want to cultivate then, instead of this self-judgment, uh, that's why you don't need self-judgment all the time, eh? we need to be turning our brain from the self-judging to the self-trust. The difference it makes is huge. When you are tuned in into the self-judgment, you are uh, activating the part of your brain that is constantly scared. You're not living your life. You're just preparing for the worst case scenario every day. You're just tiptoeing around people, relationships, projects, work, whatever. You're just waiting for the disaster to come up. However, when you tune, tune in into your self-trusting instead of self-judging mindset, what you're doing is that you are deactivating the part of your brain that feels scared and you're activating the part of your brain that makes good decisions. The part of your brain that can have a good overview of your life and can balance good and bad, positive and negative, and give you a more realistic perspective of life and of your prospects and your potential. That's a big difference. So what you need instead, you don't need self-judgment. Eh? We said that. That's clear. What you need instead is self-trust, reward, to reward yourself for every little step you're making, awareness, Awareness of your feelings, awareness of your fears. Of course, you're getting out of your comfort zone. Of course, you're going to be scared. Awareness. You just need awareness of what's happening around you, what's important, what happens in your body when you are stepping out of your comfort zone. And also, you need a lot, a lot, a lot of self-kindness or, in other words, self-compassion. You need to be kind to yourself so that you tune in into your safe mode and then you can achieve more. That's how we achieve now. That's how we improve now. I'm feeling safe and I'm improving even better and I'm making less mistakes because I can think uh, rationally. You don't need fear in order to improve. You don't need judgment in order to improve. You need to feel safe. Did it resonate with you? Did it make sense? Let me know in the comments and let me know if you have any questions. And let me know if you are on board with this new mindset. We don't want the fear state anymore, right? Looking forward to hearing from you. Have a good day and take good care of yourself.